Well, today and tomorrow are going to be the warmest days here, really in our extended forecast. Look at Sunday. We're down to the mid 80s and we're pretty much going to stay there into next week. Of course, what that means, some bigger rains on the way for us. But Saturday, that's going to be the nicer pick of the weekend. If you're hoping to get out, soak up some sunshine, maybe you have some work to do outside. That's overall going to be the warmer day, but the drier day. Then we look ahead to Sunday and we start to talk about the potential for some passing trough tropical downpours as we're watching a system that's expected to move into the Gulf of Mexico. And while tropical development's relatively low with this system, look at all of the rain it's going to be able to produce really all across the Gulf. And so this is going to think be, I think, be our biggest issue for areas right along the coastal areas. And then through the Sunshine State, those are going to be the areas where I think we see a little bit more of these rains moving in, especially Sunday through about Tuesday of next week. Those are going to be the days where we have the potential for some widespread rain and some locally heavy rain, especially for areas to the south of I-4. So it's really going to be central and southern parts of the state that I think we'll see the heaviest rains on the way. And this is why we're talking about this area. You've probably heard us talking about it for the last week or so. There's really not been a big change in the outlook from the National Hurricane Center, still calling for a 40% chance of this to develop. So while the odds not necessarily there that we'll see a name storm or a tropical storm. It is going to bring some big rains for us over the next couple of days. So especially as the rains get going, this deep red color here, that's where we have that tropical moisture. And notice that's really going to be right along Tampa Bay and to the south of the state. That's where we have the potential for some heavier rain accumulations. But really with the latest kind of runs, it does look like the heaviest rain and storms at this point remain over the Gulf. But as we look at our next five days, generally dry out there on Saturday. Look at how that changes Sunday and then through about Wednesday of next week. Notice those bright red orange colors that we have kind of just south of I-4, just south of Bay areas. That's all of that tropical rain starting to move into the state where a couple of days of that is going to be possible. So for today, more of those typical late day storms. We've got really strong east wind across the state. So we're going to have a good deal of sunshine. Things are going to be mild and pretty humid out there during the morning, afternoon, but it's not really until after three and four o'clock where some storms will start to develop. Those head back toward the coast where then that heavier coverage is going to be expected right around that evening time frame. So we're talking six, seven o'clock, some locally heavy storms will be possible all across the Bay Area and especially hugging the coast kind of down to Sarasota, Venice areas, some of those storms lingering even a little bit later past sunset. We could still see some lingering areas of rain and storms, but then Let's play this out to Saturday. This is the start of Saturday morning. Nice sunny skies and expecting those through a lot of the day some partly cloudy conditions and there will be some showers moving across the state but notice not anything too impressive so I only have storm chances about 30 percent for tomorrow a lot of us won't see the rain and storms Saturday so that's going to be the nicer day to be out and about enjoying the sunshine and it's going to be the last warm day where we're in the 90s so there's look at highs today a lot of spots right around 90 degrees low tonight 77 for Clearwater Tampa low 70s as we get further away Away from the coast. Checking on temperatures for your Saturday. That'll be the last day where we top out right around 91 in Tampa. A mix of temperatures right around that 90 degree mark for tomorrow. Then the 80s build back in. Marine forecast for today. East wind up to 15 knots. Moderate chop on the bay. Sees two feet. Then a stretch of 80s starts Sunday and hangs on through most of next week.